steps up in the pocket. He'll fire to the right side. Caught by Diggs. Down the field. It throwing in the end zone. Caught it. He's in. Patriots win this. He's caught. Marty Booker. Guys, fires. Today, we embark on a journey through time, exploring pivotal moments that have not only shaped the NFL, but have also left an indelible mark on the hearts of football enthusiasts. From the Minneapolis miracle to the helmet catch, these moments showcase the essence of the sport, weaving a narrative that has resonated with fans across generations. The Miracle at the New Meadowlands the Miracle at the New Meadowlands in 2010 was a jaw-dropping comeback by the Philadelphia Eagles against the New York Giants. Down 21 points with just over 8 minutes left, the Eagles staged an improbable rally, scoring four unanswered touchdowns, including a game-winning punt return by Deshaun Jackson as time expired. The win secured the Eagles' spot in the playoffs over the Giants. The game was ranked as the top moment of the 2010 NFL season, and Jackson's punt return was voted the greatest play of all time by NFL.com readers. Giants fans grimly refer to it as the punt, drawing parallels to the fumble in the original miracle at the Meadowlands. The Minneapolis Miracle Fast forward to 2018 and enter the Minneapolis Miracle, a play that sounds like a chapter from a book of enchanted football fables. In a playoff game between the Minnesota Vikings and the New Orleans Saints, the Vikings found themselves in a dire situation, trailing by a single point as the clock mercilessly ticked away. And then Case Keenum launched a pass towards Stefan Diggs. As Diggs leaped for the heavens, he miraculously managed to keep both feet in bounds and elude defenders. The result? A touchdown that sent the stadium into absolute pandemonium. Fans were hugging strangers, the announcers were probably questioning the laws of gravity, and Drew Brees likely wanted a redo on that whole sequence of events. The Minneapolis miracle was a reminder that in the unpredictable circus of the NFL, miracles happen when you least expect them. The Music City Miracle The 2000 AFC wildcard game between the Buffalo Bills and the Tennessee Titans wasn't just a football game. It was a plot twist even M. Night Shyamalan would have deemed too improbable. The Scene The Bills kick off with a lead. As the ball sails through the chilly Tennessee air, it's lateraled across the field in a move that would make even the most seasoned rugby player raise an eyebrow. The ball ends up in the hands of Kevin Dyson, who races down the sideline untouched, crossing the goal line and securing the victory. Titans fans erupted in joy, while Bills fans were left scratching their heads. The Immaculate Reception Behold a moment when chaos met pigskin, and football fans were left scratching their heads in amazement. Picture this, it's 1972 and the Pittsburgh Steelers are in a tight spot, trailing in the waning moments of a playoff game. And then, out of the madness, emerges the immaculate reception. The ball bounces off not one, not two, but three different players in a divine game of pinball before Franco Harris swoops in like a football superhero to snag it just above the turf. This play became the stuff of NFL legend faster than you can say terrible towel. Tom Brady's Super Bowl Comeback Enter Super Bowl 51, a game that unfolded like a Hollywood script, and Brady was cast as the leading man in an epic comeback saga. The New England Patriots are down 28-3 against the Atlanta Falcons, a deficit that would make most teams consider booking early flights home. But not Brady. Touchdown after touchdown, conversion after conversion, and suddenly, the game is tied. In overtime, Brady leads the Patriots down the field like a general leading his troops to victory, and the unthinkable happens, a touchdown that cements the comeback of all comebacks. In the grand opera of NFL history, this comeback symphony plays on as a testament to the unrivaled greatness of the man with more Super Bowl rings than fingers. The Ice Bowl this chilling chronicle is none other than the legendary Ice Bowl of 1967, where the Green Bay Packers faced off against the Dallas Cowboys. Picture this, it's December 31st, 1967 in Green Bay, Wisconsin, and the temperature is negative 19 degrees Fahrenheit. The field resembles an ice skating rink more than a football field, and the player's breath turns into miniature frosty clouds. 
Enter the final minutes of the game. With the Packers trailing by a point, quarterback Bart Starr decides to go for it on a sneak play. The offensive line must have felt like they were blocking against a glacier, but against all odds, Starr plunges into the end zone, securing the win and etching the ice bowl into a football legend. The Ice Bowl wasn't just a game, it was a test of human endurance, a battle against Mother Nature herself. Footballs turned into icy rocks, breaths turned into icy crystals, and yet, the show went on. The Drive Enter The Drive, a 1987 masterpiece starring John Elway, the quarterback who could make a stoic statue crack a smile. Picture this, it's the AFC Championship game, and the Denver Broncos are on the cusp of defeat, trailing the Cleveland Browns. The clock is ticking, hope is fading, and then, like a football sorcerer, Elway takes the stage. The man orchestrates a drive that defies the very laws of fourth quarter tension, navigating the Broncos 98 yards down the field. The Helmet Catch Let's place ourselves in 2008 a year when flip phones were cool and MySpace was still a thing. Enter Super Bowl 42, where the New York Giants are facing the New England Patriots, an undefeated juggernaut that probably felt invincible until this very moment. Eli Manning, with the coolness of someone who just found out they won the lottery, throws a prayer deep down the field. Enter David Tyree, who pins the ball against his helmet turning a routine catch into an acrobatic masterpiece. It's a play that defied gravity, logic, and Tom Brady's hopes of an undefeated season. Patriots fans still wake up in a cold sweat thinking about it, while Giants fans are left wondering if Tyree has some super glue hidden in that helmet. In the grand tapestry of NFL history, this catch stands as a reminder that sometimes the laws of physics are merely suggestions. The Catch Rewind to the neon-soaked era of the 80s, where the hairstyles were as wild as the football plays. It's the NFC Championship game, and the San Francisco 49ers are locked in a fierce battle with the Dallas Cowboys. With time winding down and the 49ers trailing, Joe Montana drops back and lofts a pass to Dwight Clark. Now, this wasn't just any pass, it was a high-flying, gravity-defying connection that would become known as the catch. Clark, arms outstretched like a touchdown-seeking Superman, grabs the ball in the end zone, securing not just a victory, but a moment that would be replayed in NFL highlight reels for eternity. The stadium erupts in cheers, and the 49ers march on to win the Super Bowl, leaving the Cowboys wondering what just hit them. As we wrap up this journey through the NFL's most unforgettable moments, we want to hear from you, the fans. Which of these iconic plays resonated with you the most? Share your thoughts, memories, and your picks for the greatest moments in NFL history. Big hole.